Hi, this is Mary Jane from Home for the Harvest, and I'm here at Byland's Nursery with Ken Salva from Grower Coach. And we're here today to chat about emerald green cedars. Ken's going to give you some tips about spacing these, where to plant them, how far apart to plant, depending on what you want the end result to look like. This is uh, Thuya occidentalis smaragd, like the botanical name. These guys are planted in landscapes quite commonly. They're one of the most cost-effective hedges yet. So on, as far as a hedge goes, these things are going to be inexpensive. They grow average about two feet a year vertically, and maybe not quite as much widthwise but a uh, super good plant for growing as a hedge. Now, the downfall with these guys is the deer will eat them. So you, if you have a lot of deer around, you probably want to go with junipers rather than go with cedars. But these guys have a spacing of its average is about uh, one every 30 inches. So that's exactly four for 10 feet. So you can do the math super fast. If you have 50 feet, so that's five times four is 20. So you need 20 cedars for 50 feet. So it's just four for every 10 feet that you have. That's how you calculate your spacing. And now you can go closer if you have to. I have people who just say, I just want to block everybody out. So they jam them right tight close together. And that's okay too. These guys are designed to, to live in close quarters and the roots will intermingle and they'll be just fine. But you can go, if you go farther apart, say up to about three feet apart or even four feet apart, they just grow fatter. They get much fatter when they're open. They have sunlight all the way around. So it just takes longer for them to fill in the farther apart you have. So usually for most of us, we're impatient. We just want it to fill in quick. So we jam them together pretty close. But I like to go four for 10 feet. That's 30 inches apart. So just remember that when you're watering them, that they do need a steady water supply to start with. So you usually use drip lines. I like to have one on each side and we'll be water when we first plant almost every day and then you slowly wean them off to every second day after about maybe about two months you go to every second day and then after three months you can just go about twice a week but it's best on the second year to, to back off to that twice a week and that's where i like to keep them at but remember that you need to have reasonable soil so you want to dig in some decent topsoil where you're planting and if you had a row of cedars you'd like to have about a five foot wide area to plant them in so that whole area would be amended with soil with your cedars down the middle. And then drip lines were running one down each side. So would you mulch over top of the surface of the soil? So you'd have your soil that you've had for drip lines, and then would you mulch over all that with organic mulch? Yes, yeah, usually plant, put your soil in, plant your cedars, run your drip lines, and then you would mulch the whole thing with about two and a half inches of organic compost-based mulch over the entire root system, both sides, to suppress weeds and to hold the moisture. It's a perfect recipe.